Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. I am going to be painting today and I'm gonna show you how super simple and easy it is to paint a star. Should you get a star from us, it's already etched with the flag and the stars on here. So we call this the American Flag Star. And it's nothing but red, white, and blue, so it's pretty simple. I base coated uh, red and then I base coated blue. So I did this part red and I did this part in blue. Most people would wanna start with a white and not understand that, but in this case, it's better to start with red. And the reason for that is your red is a, a lot easier to cover with the white paint than the white paint is to cover with the red, if that makes any sense. So I start with the red and then I'm gonna cover up that red for my white stripes here in just a bit and I'll be showing you that. Hey Carla, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am, um, painting an American star uh, that we actually did. I think we did this live too on this one last year, but it's been a good seller and a lot of people uh, really don't wanna have to dig through and try to find different uh, videos that they can't find. So I started with red. I, this is the navy blue and I did that. I highlighted in my navy blue. And I'm also gonna kinda come down here and I'm going to go ahead and shade my red stripes and I just kind of start from one end and go to the other and then come back this way and then you'll come back this way so this is the easy piece to paint it's not difficult and it's um it's that time of year where we're thinking about Memorial Day July 4th that kind of stuff so uh, we put out some patriotic stuff some patriotic blanks and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how, how easy they are to paint. Let's see, did I just mess that up? So we got that, we got that. So we got white, red, white, red, white, red. I think I did okay here, y'all. It's easy to mess up the stripes if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> oh well. And this is a red one, and of course this will be white, and then red here. And on my red, I'm just putting a little bit of shading red and uh, that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how good it's gonna work. If you have a lot of white paint, and I have a round brush right here. This is a round brush. And I'm going to, ooh, y'all, I gotta put some water in here. I'm going to go ahead and use this white paint to cover the red. It's a lot easier to start with the red and get the white on top of the red than it is to start with the white and get the red on top of the white, if that makes sense. And it's because white paint that we use has a lot more pigment than the red paint. Okay. So we're gonna start down here. Now I am gonna put a lot of paint on there because I'm gonna try to get it to do it in one coat. Now, tomorrow after this thing has had a chance to dry, I may have to come back and just put a little bit more white if I can see some of the red in between. But I probably won't do that till tomorrow. Hey, Claudia, thanks for hanging out. So good to see you. I am painting an American flag star. It's that time of year. It's starting to get warm outside, y'all. And um, I started with red and I'm gonna put the white on top. I'm gonna cover it up this way. Like that. And I'm putting a lot of paint on there and just moving that paint left to right, back and forth, if you will. Come up here. And uh, this is a really easy piece to paint. If you paint it red first, you're gonna, I think you'll get, you'll find that it's uh, a lot easier to deal with that way, painting it red first. And then I'm just cut, cut, taking this white paint and covering up the red paint. That's all I'm doing, making stripes. Now, if you wanted to, you could just paint the red stripes in the beginning and white stripes. You don't have to base coat the whole thing red. I base coat the whole thing red first because to me that's easier. But you don't even have to do that. You could just paint your white stripes where they are and then paint your red stripes and not do a, a solid base coat. But I tend to do what I think is faster and easier and quicker. Okay, so I've got this brush and I've got all of that. Now this is a fairly big brush, so I'm gonna put this brush aside just to give you an idea. And I'm gonna use this brush for my stars. Hey Ash, how are you? 
Hey Deborah, I'm glad y'all could hang out with me. I'm just doing a quick tutorial. I started with red and I put the white on top. And then here I started with brilliant blue and I shaded in navy blue. And now I've got this smaller script liner and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do my stars. Now that navy blue is not quite dry. So I may have to touch it up a little bit tomorrow after it dries. But I'm just putting my script liner on the corner of every star and pulling toward the end of the, the inside. So we are going to, uh, I think you're gonna be seeing me a lot this week. We have our regular scheduled lives and then I've got a couple of patriotic pieces I'm trying to squeeze in just because I know it's that time of year and it's coming up. So uh, I've got my star pretty much the way I want it. And then I'm going to, uh, Let's see, this thing has five stars, so I've got one done. And I start in the bot I start at the the very tip of the star and I pull it back towards me. Tip of the star, or actually towards the middle, and then I pull it towards the middle is what I'm trying to say. So I'll be on here doing some patriotic stuff this week, in addition to what uh, we've already gotten scheduled. And Ash, uh, you might tell us what day you think you might are gonna do that. Uh, Ash is gonna come on one day this week and do the patriotic truck. Y'all, I love, love, love that patriotic truck. And she did such a good job on painting the sample, but I don't know what day she's planning on coming on. She may not know quite yet. Today's Tuesday, so we still have three days left to go. Hey, Victoria, how are you? I'm glad you're on here. I am painting, uh, this was not a scheduled live, but it's a patriotic piece that I wanted to kind of throw in there because we sell them. And I know some of you guys are wanting to look at what it is that how it is that we get to this part and really it's pretty easy paint the paint that whole part red paint this whole part brilliant blue let it dry and then you're going to paint white on top of your stripes that you want white and white on top of the stars of course that you want white stars that's what i did uh because i actually had this base coated before i came on ashley says she's thinking she might go live thursday with the patriotic truck that sounds good um I think the patriotic truck we're using is, in a, is a uh, design that Miss Victoria did for us. And it's it's super cute. And uh, Ashley will be on on Thursday. And I will be probably on Wednesday and Friday because I'll be doing a couple of more patriotic pieces just to show everybody what we have and how easy they are to paint. So um, hopefully you guys can all hang out with us and just see what we're doing. I think this is probably one of the easier things to do. Uh, just doing a little script liner work here on the star, meaning just kind of use a little bit of paint. Now I'm going to take my shading red and remember, hey Debbie, how are you? Shading red is nothing other than red and black together. And I'm gonna take that shading red and I'm gonna go down into the CNC lines on my red and white stripes. So I'm gonna move this around a little bit this way. Now my white is really not quite dry, so it may uh, it may streak a little bit, but I can come back tomorrow and work on fixing that. And this is all I'm gonna do to it. I'm just gonna put some uh, script liner on these stripes and a little bit of script liner up there, and he is done. It won't be a very long live because I, there's not a whole lot to this guy. We call this the American flag star, and it's just a star that has some stripes and some more stars on it. That's really all it is. See, I got some white paint on there. I'll just dab it off on my table, and then I'll move this thing over. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll also come and take this and go this way. And you can see I got a lot of white paint. It's starting to streak, but I will touch that up tomorrow. And then I'll come over here and I'm just getting down into that CNC line. That's all I'm doing. Getting down into that line. Okay. And that's streaking on me, so I'll fix that part tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it. All that's going to take is a little bit of paint tomorrow for me to come over with it almost done and you can see i think i've been on this live maybe 15 20 minutes nothing nothing too too serious i'm going to take my white paint i'm going to do some white stripes 
just some basically some brush strokes is all I'm doing. And then I'll probably come up here and do that. Here, come around. This is still a little wet, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. And that's all there is to it. So you can see it's a pretty simple uh, patriotic flag star. They're in the store if you're interested in doing that. I'll be back on tomorrow probably doing the USA Banner Star. Ashley's planning on being Thursday. Uh, she's going to be doing uh, the patriotic truck. I think there's something else I'm supposed to be doing, but I'll be on this week, y'all. Y'all have a good one, and thank you for joining me. Try out the flag star if you want to do that. It's super simple, and we will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.